Welcome to the exciting world of space exploration. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's out there? Today, we are going to take a journey to the fascinating red planet, Mars. Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system, is a place that scientists have been studying for a long time. It's called the red planet because of its reddish appearance, which is due to iron oxide, or rust, on its surface. Our journey begins with a space rocket. Imagine a giant machine, taller than a building, roaring with energy as it blasts off into the sky. It carries the Mars rover, a robot that scientists send to gather information about Mars. The journey from Earth to Mars is not a quick trip. It takes about seven months to travel the 140 million miles. That's a lot of in-flight movies. But don't worry, the Mars rover doesn't get bored. It's busy doing important work for scientists back on Earth. Once the rover lands on Mars, its mission begins. It's like a robot geologist, studying rocks and soil to learn about the planet's past. It even has a drill to collect samples, and cameras to take pictures of the Martian landscape. The rover also looks for signs of life. Not little green men, but microscopic organisms. If it finds any, it could mean that life once existed on Mars, or maybe still does. This is one of the biggest mysteries that scientists are trying to solve. Mars has the tallest volcano and the deepest, widest canyon in the solar system. Olympus Mons, the volcano, is almost three times the height of Mount Everest. And Valles Marineris, the canyon, is as long as the United States. Mars also has polar ice caps made of water and carbon dioxide, just like Earth's poles. But the Martian climate is much colder than Earth's, with temperatures dropping to minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit. BRRR, better pack your space sweater. But what's the weather like on Mars? Well, it's a bit different from here on Earth. Mars has the thinnest atmosphere of all the planets in our solar system. This makes it very cold, and it also means that it's very windy. The planet is known for its dust storms, which can cover the entire planet. One day, humans may travel to Mars. Scientists and engineers are already working on the technology needed for the journey. It will be a long trip, but just think of the amazing things we'll learn and the incredible sights we'll see. Before we end our journey, let's not forget to mention the Mars moons, Phobos and Deimos. They're smaller than our moon and have irregular shapes, like lumpy potatoes circling the red planet. So, that's our journey to Mars. A land of towering volcanoes, deep canyons, and mysteries waiting to be solved. Scientists continue to study this fascinating planet, hoping to discover its secrets and maybe, just maybe, find signs of life. As we continue to explore Mars and other planets, we learn more about our own planet, Earth. Every discovery we make in space gives us new insights and broadens our understanding of the universe. So, next time you look up at the night sky, remember, there's a whole universe waiting to be explored.